What is up guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. I haven't broke the news to Lamont yet, but we are officially monetized. So that's awesome news. Wanted to start off the video like that. But um, right now, today, well, at least I am working on a Malibu. Lamont got a customer in my neighborhood, so he's working on their car right now, getting it worked on and sorted out. That's a Mercedes. I hate Germans. They're German cars. Um, but long story short, I've been chasing down issues ever since I've been having performance, which is no one's fault. It's just, I don't know what this car can do. There's no one on YouTube or that I know of that's pushing a 1.5 this far. So kind of like with the whole Malibu build all together is a learning experience because I don't have a reference. I am my reference and I am a reference for a lot of you guys too. So I, I don't know if you guys could understand that, but yeah, so... I've been going through some things. I don't know if you guys uh, follow me on Instagram, but I made a post about the weaknesses of the car right now. It's definitely the intercooler. There's nothing wrong with my setup. Now, I want to get that clear. There's nothing wrong with the setup. I love the setup. The issue is, is that it's not a, I guess, a bulletproof setup. Um, so I'm going to be getting a complete intercooler kit that's going to end up making the pipes wider and actual, like, actual, what's the word? Aluminum pipes, I think is what they're made out of. I don't know. But technically, mine will be carbon fiber. I'm I'm spilling too much. But I'm going to have some nice intercooler pipings. Um, I keep having a boost leak, which is coming from here. So I ended up, y'all see my zip tie. I ended up putting the clamp here. This feels a lot more solid than before um, until I started twisting it. So I got to see if I could tighten that a little bit more. Um, so between... I'm going to show y'all where I've been having my issues. This sensor, this boost sensor for my uh, AEM boost sensor. Um, and then over here, I don't know. For some reason, this side just keeps popping out. It's weird. But um, I ended up talking to Brian. Sooner or later, this turbo is going to be leaving the chat. Um, only because the reason I know is every time this side pops off, because it's only been this side, that side's been good. Anytime this side pops off, um, there's oil in there. And usually that's a sign that your turbo is about to leave the chat and all that upsetting stuff. So that's another reason why I'm getting an intercore setup. It's because I'm preparing for a bigger turbo. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say it. You already know who I'm going to go through. It's upside down, but let me fix that. Boom. BNR. Boom. BNR. It's kind of dirty, but that's BNR. Trust me. Just believe me. And, um... I'm actually going to be seeing if I could relocate this oil catch can because as clean as that setup was under the, whatchamacallit, I'm getting heat soaked in the lines. So I'm going to see if I can, with this bracket, put it like over here and make it work that way. And if I can, that'd be very convenient. If I can't, I'm going to see if I could put it like right here. That'd be cool if I could do that. But we'll see. We'll see. We're playing it all by ear right now. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm doing. So I already did that. I want to tighten that down a little bit more, but now I'm, I got to clean my throttle body. That's a new issue for me. I've never had to clean a throttle body before. So what I'm about to do, I'm about to remove these bolts. I don't remember what they are because it's not the same hardware from OEM. It's the ones that BNR came with, with the throttle body spacer. I told you team BNR over here, boys. Um, and I may end up keeping the engine cover off because a lot of heat and then I'm having a leaking issue and I don't know where it's from. Like, y'all see the, I don't know if it's gonna pick up on the camera. Oh yeah, there you go. Y'all see the, like the darker line? It's, I don't know what that is. So this line was also wet. So I legit don't know where I'm getting water if maybe I'm getting water from all the rain that we've been having lately, or it could be oil, but I don't know where from because there ain't no signs of oil leaks. I'm never leaking anywhere. So it's just one of those things that I've been chasing for a little bit now. Um, it could be from the turbo. It could be from the, uh, the oil catch can setup I got. I've been talking to the same person I'm going to be going through to get the inner core stuff. Um, if you guys do your research, y'all know who I'm talking about. But I'm not going to spill the beans until I actually get the product in my hand and install it and then give it my review. I already know I'm going to love it. But 
yeah so it's my first time cleaning the throttle body so what you got to do is disconnect the um the negative terminal to i've been letting it sit for a little bit to get all the you know juices out but then you got to take off those four bolts and then you got to unclip it from here to con disconnect it um i'm gonna be cleaning the the top side and the bottom mainly because i i never had a throttle body code before so that's what lamont suggested me do so that's what me going to do so i get back to y'all when i get that far after some fighting got that dirty dirty old thing off I don't see how filthy it is so that's kind of why i've been getting the code um took off everything that's a throttle body spacer crushed the hell out of my finger i don't remember how we put that on if we use like a ratchet or not ratchet but you know the gun or uh, actual allen key but we had it's the five i crushed my finger my shit hurt but now i'm about to clean this so all you do is literally you literally spray inside of there and then you pretty much wipe try not to move that move this as minimum as possible all you're doing is spraying and wiping um you don't want to mess up nothing i'm gonna clean the outside of this too just so it looks a little fresher but yeah wash the plug because you don't want to get nothing in there and here we go about to go ahead and do it can't do it with one hand so i'm about to go get a rag a cleaner rag than that one and go from finish there. wiping this off i see how dirty it was that silver is it's coming off but yeah that's how it was and that's how we're trying to get it just like this side the actual throttle i don't know if i could do anything about that i'm gonna i'm gonna pretty much use this whole can for it but see how that goes yeah dirt day Oof. i should see the puddle while i'm at it the throttle body spacer isn't that dirty but i'm gonna go ahead and spray that wipe it off too just so you know make sure and them bolts b and r maybe come up with something that's not an allen key because <laughs> my finger is so sore but yeah this is how you guys pretty much want it um nice clean i got as much as i can i don't think i could get any get it any better than this um as y'all saw all of that everything was like black so all i did pretty much is hold it from like right here with the rag just like this i held it like this so there would be no other cleaner getting inside of the actual plug and i just was going ham at it so that's cool i'm gonna let that sit and dry for a little bit it shouldn't take long and i'm gonna start putting everything back um next i'm gonna tackle this oil catch can see how that goes because i'm gonna push it on over here if i can and i don't know if i'm gonna put that back after that we'll see how everything plays out but i'm just trying to clean this up i'm coming to maryland so i don't know if this video is going to be out before then but um I'm, this will be the F malibu's longest trip and i'm hoping it lasts it, you always make it to myrtle and back that's about six hours what's two more hours right so hopefully we good well not hopefully i have faith in her just tackling a little hiccups that's everywhere so yeah a little quick update everything's back together um I don't know if I showed this already. I may see it when I edit it, but that's the clamp I got. Made that thing super tight. So that feels like way more secure than what it was before. And now we're about to tackle this. Let's we'll see how this goes. Hey right, guys, change the scenery. Um, we ended up getting a lot done, everything done really. So I'm gonna show y'all what comes up. Uh, when I disconnected the battery, it basically, it there was no codes at all. So I had to drive the car around off and on and um i was beating on the car just to get the codes back on so last time i checked it all right so this is the only code i got that code is a fan shroud code so air shutter sorry i don't know y'all can see that yeah y'all can come on focus there we go so that's an air shutter code um i'm gonna show you guys how it looks under the hood it looks so much nicer but so it looks much nicer um I don't know if I'm going to keep, ooh, God, dang, that's hot. Well, this isn't supposed to be hot, but I guess it makes sense. This is my first time not having the cover, so, okay. So, let me show y'all real quick. This vent is now over here. All I did was, or all we did was cut the bracket and basically put a bolt here that was already here, fed it through with the nut, and bada beam, bada boom, 
it works out that's kind of hot i don't know if it's catching more oil than it was before oh there's actually a lot more oil on there so it's one of those things i just gotta watch but i'm gonna keep the cover off my boy dylan he said that his engine temps have been better without the um engine cover i'm still gonna put on the engine cover i'm struggling here boys um I'm still gonna put on the engine cover, but only like at shows type deal. Um, I already feel like all the heat, cause y'all know turbo cars get extremely hot. So with this being exposed, I'm thinking it'd be better. And then I got inner cooler coming. So I'm thinking it'd be a lot better for the car. And then with other goodies I got in the works, it'd be able to release the heat a lot more. Oh, that's rude. Um, but nah, so yeah guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video um like comment subscribe and we are officially monetized so lamont wasn't in this video today only because i pretty much did everything myself the only thing he helped me do was take off one of the hoses and that was it i didn't really catch him in the video but he knows about that we're monetized and everything so yeah peace out i gotta get this uh get this thumbnail so peace.